Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 32 through 38. Brethren, recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on the prisoners, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that you may do the will of God and receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one shall come, and shall not tarry, but my righteous one shall live by faith. In today's Gospel reading is the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 33 through 41. At that time, Jesus and his disciples came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing along the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had discussed with one another who was the greatest. And he sat down, and he called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, let him be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child, and he put him in the midst of them, and taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him. For no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is for us. And truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose his reward. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Today we see in the Gospel of Mark, that same admonition about making sure that we have our priorities in the right order. In order for us to be first, we must be last. In order for us to enter into the kingdom of heaven, we need to receive like a child, not as some kind of captain of industry, not some kind of military strategist, not kind of savant, but just a simple child. Whoever receives one such child in my name, our Lord says, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives not me, but him who sent me, who is, of course, God the Father. And then he says this statement that later on in the Gospels is modified slightly, but it says, he that is not against us is for us. This is something that he says when regarding those who are permitting are doing healings in Jesus's name. They do it in Jesus's name. They are not to be hindered, even though they do not follow him like the disciples do. So what to make of all of this? Well, I think the most important thing to make of all of this is that our Lord expects us to empty ourselves of our own passions, empty ourselves of our desires, our wants, our, our selfishness, and to take on him as a yoke. We do those things, we find life in them. We become first, even though we put ourselves last. This is indeed our great calling and something that we need to live into in this day and age, because today we speak so much of self-esteem, or we speak so much of putting ourselves first. And in reality, what we need to do is mute ourselves so that we're not always so focused on pleasing ourselves or doing what we want, but instead vigilantly and diligently trying to seek out the life and the teachings of Christ and to live in accordance to those teachings. A child needs the help of others. We too, as children of God, need to reconcile, rec recognize and reconcile that we do not make this journey on our own. We have others that help us, and if no others to help us, then we certainly have the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
and the entire host of angels and archangels and all of those who have come before us and live in and amongst the church triumphant. And so humility, again, becomes a great tool for us in this journey. We need the humility to recognize that we cannot do these things ourselves. We need the humility to recognize that sometimes our own wants and desires get in the way of our salvation. We need the humility to realize that he has done everything there is that needs to be done. All we need to do is accept the hand that is offered to us to take it by our own hand and to lift ourselves up because he indeed will. Those who are humbled, our Lord says, shall be exalted. May he direct our steps and give us the desire and the wisdom to follow in his ways. Well, I thank you very much for joining me. If you found value in this reflection, please feel free to hit the like button or to share it with your friends and associates. And of course, if you have any questions, please do leave questions in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Meanwhile, I pray that God blesses you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.